I sat down with Dr. Eddie Rojas, Associate Professor in the Department of Construction Management at the University of Washington, to get an update on his project to identify the best methods to effectively recruit and retain electrical construction supervisors. We have changed the scope of the project from our last meeting in July of 2007 to now. Actually, we have increased the reach of the project. Now we're going to be looking at uh, recruiting and retaining project managers in addition to field supervisors. So you're developing the profiles of these ideal supervisors and project managers? Yeah, we're going to be developing profiles of ideal field supervisors and project managers. We're going to go and visit several cities throughout the country. We want to make sure that we take into account the different cultures, East Coast versus West Coast. It's a lot of traveling, but it's going to be very interesting because it's going to give us the opportunity to actually go to the companies, talk to the folks in there, project managers, supervisors, the owners, and the electricians. So how would electrical contractors use the selection tool that you will provide? Well, it is very important to keep in mind that any tool or any instrument that you develop for selection of personnel is not going to be 100% foolproof. Therefore, we're going to have false positives and false negatives. Some people that the tool is going to tell us will be good supervisors may not be the best supervisors, and some people that the tool may tell us that may not work very well could actually be excellent supervisors. Even though for the vast majority of the cases the tool is going to be accurate, there are going to be some instances when the tool is not going to provide information that we want. Therefore, contractors must take this as another weapon in their arsenal when they are selecting field supervisors and project managers and not as the only tool that they can use. You have a solid plan, but you've had some meetings and some suggestions. We have a lot of suggestions and we got a lot of very important information. You know, and every day you learn something new. One of the surprises in these meetings is that several contractors were telling me that they are making offers for promotions to supervisors that are being turned down. They're turning them down. Right, and I, I couldn't figure out why, and they were telling me that this uh, new generation of folks mm -hmm. value time with their family and flexibility in their schedules, you know, more than perhaps having a title of supervisor or the new position. So one of the challenges of this project is going to be also to look at what kind of tools we can use to motivate the right folks to move from being craftsmen to becoming supervisors and project managers.